Hi, I'm Robert from Bunker Mentality. Uh, we're going to do a little video interview here with our good friend Paul Streeter, who's just uh, won the Rookie of the Year last year on the, um, the Seniors Tour. I know he doesn't look it, but you know. And um, apparently, I thought he'd been with us for seven or eight years, but he's just told me it's 11, which has been shocking. So how's that happened? 11 years? Wow. Yeah, doesn't sound far. Doesn't it, mate? So when was the first time you, you met with us then? I can't remember. Uh, 2007, after I won the PJ playoffs. Ah, right. And I, uh, <coughs> I wrote a letter out to a few different companies and you got back to me, whereas nobody else did. Oh, did I? Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Well, Rookie of the Year, how does that feel? Fantastic. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It, was the, it was one of my goals at the beginning of the year, so yeah. to, uh, to, get, uh, to get it was fantastic. And how's, the, um, how's life on tour? How's the travelling been? I mean, that must take it out of you a bit. Uh, it's not too bad, really. Um, it's... You know, I mean, at least when you're making the cut and you're doing well, it's, it, you know, well, there is no cut, but when you're doing well, it's, uh, it's, it's all good. But um, on tour, everybody's so friendly, made us so welcome. So, yeah, it's been really yeah. good. So how do you, how do you cope with it? Because obviously, you've done fantastic well. You're a winner. You know, how have you coped with the nerves for all that? Or is it just something that over the last amount of years you've been building up to? Um, when you play tour school, um, that's as nervous as you're ever going to get. So winning the tournament, if you're coming down the stretch needing to win, if you, if you don't win, you come second or third. You, when you're at tour school, you've got to be top five or else you get nothing. Yeah. So the pressure of winning the tournament isn't anything where a tour school is. So, yeah. so you, it's good experience when you get a card. Good stuff. And you've, um, who's the most uh, famous player that you've beaten then? I've beaten. Oh, God. Probably Jimenez in the playoff, I would have thought now. <laughs> it wasn't a trick question. Uh, yeah, Jimenez. Yeah, how did that go down well? Because you were in Spain, weren't you? Yeah, no, I think um, <clears throat> in Benidorm there's a, there's a lot of expats and a lot of English out there. So right. um, as as uh, as good as Jimenez is and as Spanish he is, but there was a lot of English out there that you know that were rooting for me as well. So it wasn't quite as one sided as it probably seemed on TV. You didn't, you didn't get some dodgy food that night or something like that? No. Somebody put something in the wine, you know, trying no, to get back in. No, you. no, they were, well, because I wasn't leaving going into the last round, so uh, oh, right, it right. was only the, the last minute where I, I picked him, so uh, so no, they were fine. A big highlight for the year, though, eh? beating Jimenez. I mean, you know, it's pucker, isn't it? Yeah, that was good. I mean, for me, the highlight for me was winning at Woburn because it's yeah. your first win, and, and yeah. to win the way I, I won was uh, certainly the highlight of the year. I mean, obviously, beating Jimenez is, is fantastic. But there was no pressure on me to, to beat him really because he's a, a two time senior major yeah, champion. Yeah. I'm a I'm a rookie. Yeah. So in the in the playoff I had nothing to lose really. So yeah. uh, So how long have you been planning this then? You know, we've known you for eleven years. Um how long have you been planning the seniors tour? Because you you're still playing, aren't you, on some of the um the pro arms around the county and all that sort of stuff, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been sort of getting ready for it probably for the last four or five years really, um, just trying to play um, any, everything you can really just to keep competitive because yeah. it's all right standing on the range hitting ball after ball, yeah. but there's nothing like having a card in your hand and playing competitive, whether it be a pro-am, a mini tour or whatever. So mm. so yeah, I've just been gearing up probably for the last four or five years really. Have you done anything different then? I mean, when, when you get to the tour, you know, things like warming up and, and, and you know getting on the range early and all that is, did you have all that already organised, or did you did you find when you got to step it up a bit? Not really. No, I think you know you do what you've always done. Really, um, uh, when when you go to the range to warm up, that's literally what you're doing. You, you know, you, if you swing, if your game's not with you, you're not going to find it in ten minutes on the range before you go out. But, True, yeah. So I mean, the practice facilities at every event are fantastic. We have you know good tireless pro beads on the range to hit. Um, so yeah, the practice facilities are fantastic. So and the weather's been amazing every event we've been at this year. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. You've a great weather, just like we had here last summer. Don't know, mate. Yeah. So, the um. The tours worked out really, really well. Um, what's your plans for next year? Um, much of the same, really. Obviously, I, I get um, two of the well, all three majors, but uh, the US PJ. Uh, and the US Senior Open um, in America, so that will be obviously a new experience for me uh, and something that I'm really looking forward to. But now, same again. I mean, obviously we've got new venues this year, um, yeah. so it'll be uh, you know a bit interesting to go to Jordan and 
and other places, Uzbekistan and Bahrain yeah. or somewhere that yeah. we possibly might be going. Um, so, no, more of the same, uh, hopefully uh, to get as many wins as well. Well, yeah, I mean, it, you know, that's, that's the key thing, isn't it, is winning. I mean, that's what it's all about. So the, the local events are useful, therefore. Are you going to continue them next year? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of mates that, you know, I enjoy playing primes with. It's, it's, uh, it's still, you know, income, which yeah. at the end of the day, what we're trying to earn it's money. It's all about it. It's a bit early money. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, when I'm not uh, travelling with the stage show tour, I will be playing uh, the regional stuff and the local primes. Good stuff. Well, we're delighted you've done so well. I mean, you know, to be fair, you've worked hard for it. Um, it's like everything in life, you get what you want for and you've definitely deserved it. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.